Welcome. Be sure to hit the subscribe button for more great read alouds. Enjoy the story. A Little Spot of Teamwork, a story about collaboration and leadership. Written and illustrated by Diane Alba. Hi, we are Little Spots of Teamwork. We are here to show how to collaborate and be a good team. What is a team? A team is two or more individuals working together to achieve a common goal. You might see a pair of people working together, a crew, or even a large group. I can do a lot by myself. Why do I need to be part of a team? Being part of a team is great in so many ways. You can make friends, build trust, and learn so much about yourself. You also can accomplish so much more working together than you can by yourself. Just look at the start of this giant snowman. There are so many places we enjoy every day because a group of people work together as a team. Schools, libraries, and community centers are examples of places built by a team of people. In teamwork, you collaborate a lot. Collaboration is when you have a group of people with a lot of different talents and skills working together to create something amazing. Technology like phones, computers, and robots require people to collaborate every day as a team to come up with the latest device. So what makes a good team? That's a great question. Teamwork spots follow these seven simple rules. Number one, agree on a common goal. Number two, do your part. Number three, listen to others. Four, encourage others. Five, share your thoughts. Six, problem solve. Seven, respectfully disagree. Sports teams are a wonderful example of how a group of people work together to score points. Did you know the majority of teams, both in and out of sports, share a similar structure? They have a leader and teammates. What makes a good leader? A leader's job is to guide the team to their goal. They can recognize the strengths and weaknesses of the team and make sure everyone stays on track. They are also good at encouraging the team and resolving conflicts. What makes a good teammate? A teammate's job is to follow the leader and do their part. They can do this by listening, working hard, and having a positive attitude. In every team, there can be a conflict. It's important that you learn how to respectfully disagree so the team remains on task and has no hard feelings. What book should we read aloud today? Snippets. I'm not just a scribble. First step in a disagreement is to stay calm and listen. This will let the other person know you respect them and their opinion. Snippets is better because it's about shapes. Find the positive in what they are saying and use sentences that start with I when responding. I hear what you are saying. Snippets is a great book. Explaining why you don't agree and offering a compromise can show the person you are trying to find a resolution. But National Scribble Day is this week. How about we read snippets next week? Well done. You are able to hear a great story and make amazing scribble art without fighting. There are a lot of ways you can be part of a team at home. Cooking is so much fun as a team. One person can roll out the dough and the other one stamps the cookies. Dinner time is another time when everyone can do their part and work together. There are several tasks to do. You can set the table, clean off the dirty dishes, clean the table, and sweep the floor. Helping also shows kindness to your caregiver. In school, there are a lot of teams. Not only can students collaborate during projects, but they can share tasks like opening the door, changing the weather chart, or turning off the lights. And you can switch up the tasks every week so everyone can participate and help out the teacher. I'm the caboose. I'm in charge of turning off the lights. I'm the weather changer. I'm in charge of updating the weather of this chart. I'm the line leader. I'm the door holder. It's important to constantly practice teamwork. You can do this with team building activities. This helps everyone learn how to work together. So I thought it would be fun to try one. Today we are going to do a portrait of Scribble Spot together since he is made from a team of emotions. I've never had anyone do my portrait before. Sure, you can make art by yourself, but you will learn so much more when you work as a team. By making one giant portrait, you can practice problem solving by figuring out what design to do together, learn new techniques from your teammates, and create new art that you would not have thought of yourself. Or, if you want everyone to have their own piece of art, we can each start with one piece of paper and pass the paper to the next person every 20 seconds. So each paper has a little art from every teammate on it. Wow, I can see you really paid attention with all the teamwork advice. This is the most magnificent collaborative art piece I have ever seen. You are right, working together as a team is so much fun.